What's up guys? Hope you're all doing good. Sorry I was away from my tutorials for a couple days. Uh, our developer here got bombarded with a couple jobs yesterday, so I had to help him out and write some code, but I am back. Alright guys, so in the last few videos, well, the last few videos were on how to update our database on the fly and how to recognize error. Keep in mind, we're going to do our login information at the end. So any website you go to, login information is the first thing that you're going to see because that's how you're going to have access to their website. Well, when creating a, a custom CSS, I mean, you don't have to do it this way, but I think it's a better way to do it, just to do it at the end. So that kind of might be throwing people off. You think like, hey, I'm just looking at this page. Looks like anybody can go on it. Well, yeah, because we haven't created the login information yet with all our um, passwords and, and username and, and, and that form. So don't even worry about that. Okay, so moving on. In the next couple of videos, we're going to need to focus on deleting something inside our database and then using PHP to pull it back out into our HTML. So that's the D in CRUD, delete. You know, create, read, update, and delete. So we're on our fourth and final step. And this is going to be the easiest step by far because deleting excuse me, is super easy because we just delete it. We don't want to return half its value or some other value. We just wanted to delete it from our database. So let's start from the top. Let's go to VP content.php. I'm going to go ahead and click on this is Village Park. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a button right here, just uh, right next to our edit information button. I just want to say delete information. So we can go ahead and click on one of these things and go ahead and delete it, one of our menu items or one of our sub-menu items. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and open up my Village Park folder. And I want to go ahead and open up TextMate. And I want to create a new, a brand new page from scratch. And I'm just going to save it to my Village Park root folder right now. So let's just go ahead and save it as, uh, where's my folder? VP. Um, I don't know, delete underscore information dot PHP. Again, you can call it anything you want, as long as you can remember it. So let's go ahead and save that. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and start pulling our stuff in. I'm sure you guys know, we, you know, we got to pull in our header and, you know, obviously our footer at the bottom. So good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next 